absolutely amazing venue where they let anybody come in and play any kind of music. They're not judgmental. There's been so many different styles, types of bands. Have you ever been uh, in the back seat of a car? Between two tuttons. Uh, well, you ever been double tuttoned? Can't, can't say I've been double tuttoned, but I did open my door once and Tim was just standing there. <laughs> I found out about the hideout in Austin, Texas. Members of the hideout, hideout hierarchy and staff stalked us. They really wanted us to play this bar in Chicago called the hideout and we didn't know where it was or what it was, but they, they, they were very, very persistent in their stalking. And yeah, you walked in the back and the band played on the floor. There was like one light bulb hanging down. And as I was sitting there, there was this giant fat yellow Labrador that was walking around eating potato chips off the ground and cigarette butts. And I was like, ooh, this guy passed by and I was like, can, can dogs come here? Can you bring your dogs here? And he said, as long as they're not assholes. That's Mike, Mike Henschliff, one of the owners. The thing about Tim and Katie, particularly Tim, is the first time you played there and he says, can I introduce your band? You find out what that means. <laughs> it's the only club in town where the where the band introductions are actually longer than the actual set by the band. This unbelievable long diatribe on everything that's happening in the world and how you affect it when you play. There's a few places on earth that you walk into that aren't jaded rooms that are really excited to have you there. That's one of them. Well, it has a soul. I think that's the big thing. I mean, to me, that's the Chicago thing about the hideout. It is like do you want to go see a, a show in Chicago or do you want to see Chicago in a show? Uh, the Hideout's much more like a community center. It's always been a place where we've had kids' events. Uh, my son's bands played there. The Hideout is such a part of the musical firmament in Chicago, it's almost impossible now to imagine a time when it wasn't there. This is a place where musicians can experiment, will be welcome, will be given a good meal, a place to crash, harangued by, by Tim, uh, treated very nicely and sweetly by Katie. The brothers don't speak much, you know, but they'll, they'll say hi to you, you know, and buy you beer. I think what they are best at, both intentionally and unintentionally, is building community. The idea of that it's a mitzvah to create space for people to do good. It's kind of a no-brainer for them to say yes when you want you have a really good cause and you want to raise some money and raise awareness. The hideout has always kept their doors open for when we have projects or when we're supporting causes. My first time at the hideout was not, you know, hanging out and having a, you know, having a party. It was Tim Tutton opening the doors of the hideout to help a whole bunch of families who had just dealt with the, the trauma of Hurricane Katrina. Tim and Katie were just uh, they were like brothers and sisters, they were like mothers and fathers to some people. The passion that they bring to presenting the music is almost as passionate as the music itself that they're presenting. Tim said, w when I did one residency there, why don't we start this, the weather's really nice, why don't we do it outside? I goes, well, there's no stage. So he built a stage. That kind of thing is when you know somebody really cares. When the Rachels came to play at the hideout, they couldn't get their piano into the back room. So the hideout took the wall off brought the piano in, then took the piano out and put the wall back up. I've always loved the way that, Katie especially, you always keep kids in the forefront whenever there's an, an event that the hideout's doing, whether it's a block party or obviously a kid's show. You hold making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to the same degree as sound check. <laughs> Tim and Katie, you're the power couple of Chicago that doesn't need to yield power. Your power is through the care to make lives better for kids, for grown-ups. Mike and Jim, I'll be honest, it took me four or five years before I could tell you two apart. The hideout is an icon. Thank you. You deserve this. Congratulations, and we love you guys. The hideout is my home away from home, and every time I'm in Chicago, I make sure to stop by and meet a new person and hug an old friend. I send you all my love and congratulations. Best wishes. Jim, Mike, Tim, Katie, thank you so much for giving me something to do and some way to do it for the last 20 years. Enjoy your crystal brick in the wall. What a club. Don't go away. Don't do anything. Just stay the hideout. We'll all be happier for it. Obviously, there was nobody better to give this award to who would show up or whatever the hell, but they got to the hideout, so God bless and congrats, folks. Congratulations, you guys, for your great contribution to the community, um, well-deserved award. A little bar, a small building, the most amazing people, Katie, Tim, Mike, and Jim, thank you so much for sharing, for creating, and for 
including us all. We are so proud to know you and for letting us in your family and in your building and your beer cooler. Congratulations. Congratulations. We love you guys so much. We love you so much. Congratulations on your crystal brick that you've received for uh, being part of the community and, and uh, raising awareness and, and supporting the community and young people and music. Thank you for your heart. Thank you for your commitment. Thank you for the example of just genuine, selfless service. We are good. Love the Tuttons! Yeah, we love we, we do. We really, really, really love the Tuttons. Always have. Always will. Yep. Never, never not gonna. Here we go. Let's go, baby. Da, 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 to, to the, the hole, hole in the wall. Da, da, do, 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 do. I had my best time, y'all. Oh, yes, I, I forgot to harmonize over to the hole in the wall. wall. You wanna let's see. What is like I took my took, I took my, my high class lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. That was good. Oh my god. Yeah.